Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about front matter in middleman. Front matter is basically information that you can store about the content pages on your site. So for a given page on your website, you could store information about that page. So things like maybe a title or uh, the layout that the page should use. You could store like the author of the page or the language that the page is written in. So for each of the pages on your site, you could have uh, different information about them. So for one page, you could have one title and for another page, you could have another title. And then you can actually access those variables and use them inside of your middleman uh, pages and inside of your middleman layouts. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you all of that stuff. We're gonna look at what front matter is and then how we can use it on our website. I'm gonna open up this index.html.erb file. And this is just the home page of our website. So it's the page that's over here. And I wanna point out this stuff up here at the top of the file. And this is actually what's called front matter. And so right now we just have some very simple front matter. We have a title and uh, the value for title. And like I said, front matter allows us to store information about our pages. They're actually variables. So we can store different variables about our pages. In this case, we have this title variable. And if we go over here to our website, you'll notice that up here in the title of our website, it's middleman is running. And so what's happening is the layout for the homepage of our website is actually using this title front matter variable in order to display the title over here. So if I was to change this to like new title and refresh the page, you'll notice that up here in the title of the website, the title actually changes. And so the layout for our middleman site is actually using this title. And this is basically, you know, what front matter does is it, we can store variables and then the templates on our website can use them. And front matter, front matter can be written in two languages. The first is YAML. And YAML is just a language that's used to define like key value pairs. And actually this is YAML right here. The other language we can use to define our front matter is JSON, and that stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And JSON and YAML are basically interchangeable. Um, if I wanted to, for example, change this to JSON, instead of having these three hyphens, which is used to define YAML, I could have these three semicolons, and over here I can just put quotes around here because that's what we need for JSON. And you'll notice that over here, uh, it's still able to access that variable. So we can use either JSON or YAML, it doesn't really matter. Personally, I prefer to use YAML just because it's a lot simpler. There's not, it's not as syntax heavy, syntax heavy as JSON, but it doesn't really matter what you use. So there's a couple of different variables that uh, middleman will use by default, for example, this title, but you can also define our own front, custom front matter variables. So if I was to come down here, for example, and say, author, so we can define an author for our page. We can then take that custom front matter variable and access it inside of our layouts or inside of our regular files. So the way that I can access this uh, author variable is by making an open and closed uh, greater than less than 2% signs, and then I wanna say equals. And now what we wanna type out is current page dot data and then dot author, so we can we can access a u t h o r. I can't spell today. We can access the like the name of of the variable. And so now, when I go over here to my page, you'll notice that Mike shows up right there. So we're actually able to access the author variable on our content page. Now, this is an ERB page, and ERB stands for Embedded Ruby, and so you can actually access these front matter variables on any page that has embedded Ruby. So, you know, you can use these like little tags here and then access this information on those embedded Ruby pages. A better place to access something like author though might be inside of our template. So inside of our layout. And over here in the layouts folder, this layout is used to basically as a, as a template for um, all of the different pages on our website. And I'm gonna have an entire video just talking about layouts. But for now, just know that this, the information that's in these layouts will show up on all of our pages. So 
if I put this current page dot data dot author uh, front matter variable inside of this layout, then it's still going to display on our page. But now if I make another page, so for example, if I make another file, let's just call it b.html.erb, and I define some front matter inside of this b file, so let's just define some YAML in here and I'll give it an author as well. Let's say the author here is Steve. Now when I go over to this b.html file, you'll notice that instead of displaying Mike, it's now displaying Steve. So over here it's displaying Mike, and then obviously it's displaying the content on the page. And when we go to that b.html file, whoops, it's displaying Steve. So the layout is able to access the front matter variable on each of the pages of our website. You know, obviously like you can define as many of these front matter variables as you want. It doesn't really matter. You can make custom variables and then you can access them in any of the pages with .erb extensions. So that's sort of a, you know, an introduction into front matter in middleman and front matter is super powerful and you're going to want to implement it on each of your pages. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.